I believe there is some change happening with uh, some miners out there. They're not selling, they are hodling. And this article comes from Crypto Potato and Marathon Digital increases Bitcoin stash with a $100 million purchase. Now, Marathon is changing its approach to its Bitcoin treasury policy and adopting a full hodl strategy very very nice that's what everybody should be doing the full hodl strategy especially right now this is your last chance to get it like will we have another dip i don't know after the cycle runs especially with bitcoin i think like i said previously i always say like I, all coins i believe will have a cycle like usual the rise their dump but Bitcoin, I am not positive to say I cannot like be for sure if like there will be another cycle or not. It's just, things are getting too crazy in the world. So yeah, so just uh, make your own judgments when it comes to that. But yeah, let's hear about these guys hobbling $100 million of Bitcoin. Marathon Digital, the world's largest Bitcoin mining company, has announced its latest purchase of $100 million worth of Bitcoin, increasing its stash to more than 20,000 Bitcoin. According to a press release, Marathon is changing its approach to its Bitcoin treasury policy and adopting a full HODL, or they misspelled right there, it's H-O-D-L, strategy. This means that miners will hold all Bitcoin produced during its operations and will periodically make more open market purchasing going forward. Now, Marathon adopts the Bitcoin HODL strategy. Marathon's chief financial officer, Salmon Khan, disclosed that the mining entity used to retain all of its Bitcoins before 2023, and the firm most likely offloaded some of the assets last year to cover operational costs and stay afloat out there. Now, Bitcoin's current tailwinds, improving macro environment, and rising institutional support have given Marathon enough reason to revert to holding Bitcoin and focusing on a growing stash. Now, thanks to its strong balance sheet, the company leveraged Bitcoin's recent plunge to scoop up some more assets. Now, Fred Thiel, Marathon's chairman and CEO, said adopting a full HODL strategy reflects our confidence in the long-term value of Bitcoin. We believe Bitcoin is the world's best treasury reserve asset and support the idea of sovereign wealth funds holding it. Now, we encourage governments and corporations to all hold Bitcoin as a reserve asset. Later, Zoltan. Have a good day. <laughs> now, Marathon diversifies its revenue. The latest BTC acquisition comes as Marathon works toward diversifying its revenue and mining operations about a month ago. The firm disclosed that it made nearly $15 million worth of KAS for mining operations for decentralized community management on the Caspa network. Now, notably, Marathon is not the only Bitcoin miner that has diversified to other networks and sectors. While some firms have ventured into the artificial intelligence sector, others offer computing services of mining different cryptocurrencies. Since the Bitcoin halvings slash, slashed miner rewards by 50% in April, it affected companies and it has begun spreading their wings in multiple directions just to stay in business. Bitfinex, the analysis, say that miner operations will become profitable henceforth due to Bitcoin's latest recovery. Although such entities no longer exert significant downward pressure on Bitcoin's price, Bitfinex experts have seen on-chain signals suggesting that they are almost done selling Bitcoin to upgrade machinery and sustain operations. Meanwhile, Marathon Digital is using the heat from its Bitcoin mining operations to heat Finland's community of roughly 11,000 residents. I did cover that article, so definitely browse the feed and you'll find that out there. But yeah, there's so many things you can do with using Bitcoin mining. It produces a lot of heat. I, the funniest one I saw was someone was using a Bitcoin miner to make beef jerky. It was literally dehydrating meat, <laughs> which was crazy. And it was also funny. <laughs> but yeah, miners out there aren't the only ones like they're they're. they're increasing their bitcoin holdings now because they know what's just around the corner and you should really pay attention because again uh i've always been for saying like when you pay attention to the very wealthy out there uh don't do what they say do what they do mm -hmm. yeah so yeah that's that news for you